Hey guys, I'm Eric with ExtremeTerrain.com. In this episode of Throttle Out, I'm getting this JL Rubicon ready for some serious off-roading. Jeep Wranglers are some of the most off-road capable vehicles to come straight from the factory. And this recon edition of the JL Rubicon represents the best of what Jeep has to offer. Beefier axles, front and rear locking differentials, electronic sway bar disconnects, and rock sliders. But even with all those goodies, Jeep knows that its customers love to modify their rigs. So they designed the JL Wrangler to be one of the most customizable platforms in the world. So in this video, we've got five top quality mods that are gonna help you take your Jeep where it couldn't go before. The three big factors in off-road capability are ground clearance, flexibility, and the addition of larger off-road tires. We want enough height to clear obstacles like rocks, ruts, and mud holes, as well as the ability to keep all of our tires firmly planted on the ground for maximum traction. Now this TerraFlex 2.5 inch base suspension lift is an excellent choice to get you started on your journey to greater challenges because it splits the difference between more basic spacer lifts and far more expensive kits that replace practically everything under your Jeep. This TerraFlex kit gets its added height by using longer springs. Now compared to more basic kits that use spacer blocks on your shorter original equipment springs, the new longer springs will flex more. And as your Jeep twists over uneven surfaces, your axles will be able to keep all your tires planted to the ground, giving you that better traction. Now, speaking of tires, we're upsizing those as well. We're gonna be going from factory 33s up to 35s. The advantage there being more height, bigger footprint, and taller sidewalls, and that will give you some added cushion when you air down. But more about those in just a minute. Now this lift kit includes longer sway bar links and a rear track bar relocation bracket, and that's gonna help you maintain proper geometry and alignment of your suspension. The included bump stop pads will also prevent those bigger tires from making contact with our fender under full flex. With this kit, you won't be able to reuse your factory shocks, however, so for this installation, we've chosen the Fox Performance 2.0 IFP front and rear shocks that are designed specifically for Jeeps with two to three inches of lift. Now, if you ask most enthusiasts out there to name the top five brands and quality off-road products, most are gonna include Fox in that short list. Now, that reputation is well-deserved. Years of development based on their success in racing has led to some of the most durable shocks capable of exceptional ride quality and control in rough road conditions. Now, Fox's internal floating piston design eliminates the mixing of nitrogen gas and shock oil. Now, that's a situation called aeration, and it leads to a loss of dampening. So pretty much overall, everything we're doing to this Jeep will not only get it lifted, but also keep this Ruby firmly planted and under control. As I mentioned while I was going over the TerraFlex lift kit, our suspension mods will give us the room to upsize to a 35 inch tire. That's gonna give you a four inch advantage over a Sport Model's stock 31s and two inches over a Rubicon's stock 33s. So combined, you're looking at an average of three to five inches of total lift overall. And because we're talking about making a serious improvement to our off-road capability, I selected a set of 35 inch Nitto Trail Grappler mud terrains. And I have them mounted on Mammoth's Boulder simulated beadlock style black wheels. Now mud terrains really are considered the go anywhere tire mainly due to a handful of tread design features unique to this designation. Now overall, the tread has more space between the blocks and most will have the short flaps down in between the tread. Now this allows the tire to be able to both grab a lot of mud and fling it off. Now trying to drive through the deeper stuff, less capable tires will cake up with mud and before you know it, it looks like you're spinning inner tubes, not tires. Another design feature to these trail grapplers is a ring of added tread where the sidewall meets the actual tread for the tire. Now this can come in handy if you're on a rutted trail and your Jeep is sliding side to side. When your tire makes contact with the side of a rut, this added tread will give you that extra traction to keep you moving forward. So mud terrains will generally outperform all-terrain tires in most trail conditions. However, this comes at the cost of more noise and vibration. Now, if you're modifying your daily driver, you're gonna need to consider whether or not that's something you can live with on a daily basis. Now, spinning these rough and ready trail grapplers is a set of Mammoth Boulder 17 by nine inch wheels. I really like the tough look you get from the combination of five spoke design and the simulated beadlock outer rings. With their slightly negative offset, it gives the Jeep a nice wide aggressive stance. Now I did mention we're gearing up to go where no stock Rubicon can, so I've got a couple more goodies to throw on this Recon Edition Rubicon before we're done. Okay, so far we've added at least four inches of total ride height, meaning we're going over or around just about anything in our way. But what else might you come across? Now with a gas engine Jeep's factory air intake located just above and behind the passenger side headlight, it's said that a Wrangler can go through up to 30 inches of water at five miles per hour. 
but with this snorkel system from Rugged Ridge, you've effectively relocated that intake from just below the hood line to just below the roof line. Now, I don't recommend driving through water so deep that your head is sticking up through the freedom panels, but seriously, this snorkel will put your intake well above the water line, giving you the confidence to take on everything from massive puddles to river crossings. Now, what's really cool about the design of this Amphib Low High Snorkel is the ability to easily take off the top upright section for a more low profile look. Now, if your Jeep is a daily driver, you may not want your snorkel getting battered around at freeway speeds every day during your commute to work. So leave it off when you don't need it, but put it up when adventure calls. The process is quick and easy. So far, we've prepped this Rubicon to go anywhere, and if you follow through and push the envelope, you're gonna get stuck. It's kind of one of those, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when type of deals, where you are going to get stuck eventually. And if you haven't yet, one of your trail buddies probably will. Now there are several ways to get unstuck, but one of the most versatile pieces of equipment is an electric winch. Now this Smittybilt X20 12,000 pound winch is more than enough to get you or any number of the Broncos and Tacomas blocking your path out of a jam. But seriously, regardless of who's driving what, off-roaders look out for each other. And with this 12,000 pound winch from Smittybilt, you'll be the king or queen of recovery. The rule of thumb for when using a winch is to have one rated at one and a half times the weight of your vehicle. And at 12,000 pounds, that means this Smittybilt winch can easily handle a vehicle weighing up to 8,000 pounds, which is pretty much going to cover most vehicles out there even when they're loaded up with gear. Now, two additional advantages of this kit are the wireless controller and the synthetic line. Wireless is handy because you have the freedom to let someone else work the controls if you have a situation that calls for it. Synthetic lines are very popular because pound for pound, they are just as strong as steel cables, and the, really the big reason is you save 30 to 50 pounds in added weight over those steel cables. Now, not only is that added weight that your Jeep doesn't have to haul around all the time, it's added weight that you don't have to drag out to your anchor point when you're stuck. So with all these parts, this Recon Edition JL Rubicon can go where it never could before and get out of jams it never could before. Share a comment below and let me know what you like about this build or tell us what mods you've done to level up your off-roading. And don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all the latest product videos and other content right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.